ni Tekna Msangi ya jishinde.com Um Jumbo and welcome to I forgot the count is it 4 is it 3.5 is it 5 to episode that number of the reporting series and today we are going to look at um we are stopping we stopped at the bank account list we are proceeding from there we want to group show grouping in a report how is grouping handled in the aspect of a report so we will still use our bank account list report but now we want to display the bank account ledger entries in form of a group so we will add uh, another data item an identity data item so on each iteration of this bank account after it has run the first bank account let me say giro bank has run after giro bank has run it will go to the bank the next iteration which is a data item so you you put it right inside this particular data item to show that it is inside it's within uh, the data item then we will call it bank account ledger entry account ledger entry and uh, so here i want to let me leave the name to be bank account ledger entry bank account ledger entry and then we will open the uh, calibrates and close it at the same time so we have this opened and closed in the bank account ledger entry then um we need to add the fields for this okay in the bank account ledger entry so the fields that we have we'll just say t column don't want so many fields maybe the posting date uh, posting date then posting date and for the posting date you only need the posting date and then maybe the amount uh, amount column amount maybe what else document number we'll start with the document number description how am i forgetting this document number description then posting date then amount and uh, uh document number description <clears throat> description then amount so the the your customers told you they want a a, a, a report with both uh, the bank and then the details there on each bank account so these are the columns that we have now this data item has as it as as it, as it is now it is listing everything from the bank account it is listing all the details of the bank account but we need now to to specify the data item link so that the, the item link to link the bank account like to filter to make sure that it will be only on each iteration it will only run the details of a particular bank account if we don't put the data item link it will run all the bank account ledger entries for every bank without uh, any filtering so we'll say the bank account number is filled filled will link now to another field on this uh, parent table so this field bank account number is for bank account ledger entry it's linking to field number the field number where is my scroll scroll bar so the field here number is uh here it is uh data item link let me just uh do this so, it, so that you can have it viewed well or rather also this so the data item link is bank account number is field number so for each bank account number it will uh when it is generating this bank account ledger entry it will filter uh the bank account number to the bank account number that will be the current data item of this bank account that will be generated so it will not just generate all the bank account ledger entries it will filter to that so we are done here in terms of uh, the design and what we need document number description posting date and then the amount we are done so we just need to build again so that we can update our rdl file go to the rdl file open externally again and uh, be able to preview 
and see the information that we need to add. So this is our initial table that we had. It is okay the way it is, absolutely okay the way it is. But we now need to add a group. So we just click on this and add group, parent group. So we are grouping by the bank number. That's automatically known what we really want to do. So when you just say that you have grouped by the bank number, it means that all these other columns, this is the group, and then now these are under that particular group. But what do we need to do? We need all this information to be inside group. So inside group, we insert a column inside group left, one, uh, right, one, two, so it's one, two, three. We just need three columns, uh, right columns there we are and then we will need these fields from here i will paste them here then now this is under the grouped column our total could go back here in our grouped column we return it back here merge these fields again get the total back to this point then uh now here we will unmerge probably split then the first field i believe it should be here in the data sets or the data sources there it is i will remove this under this now this is under the subgroup this is where now the bank ledger entry will be displayed from the first field will be document number the second field will be the description Third field will be the posting date and then amount. Amount. The posting date, remember, it's a date. So the format here should be date so that it can fit well. And here the amount is a number. Same as we specified. Oh, this one was not a number. It should be a number. A number here in the format. You need to specify it as a number. That's it for that. Then we could probably have uh, another number, uh, another uh, thing. If we wanted to have summation per each of this group, we could have, while, while adding the group, we could say that we insert a table header so that we can have the summation of the group. But for now, we just want a simple grouping without the summation for each grouping. I think I'll change this report property to be a landscape so that we can have 11 inches allowance it will not spill over in a bad way then this uh, execution times and user ids they need to be stored right at the end near here the end there it is there we have it yes perfect 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 then also copy this summarize by sum paste it here not important for now because we have the sum here the, the concept here is grouping so if we had the grouping header, we could have the sum per group, but we can be able to do it later on. Mm. Okay. So anyway, that is for you to play around with. When you're adding the group, just add the header and be able to see what you can get from that. I've maximized this so that the view can be clearer. Then now, I think we are done with our report. We have uh, filtered it to a particular bank, us to save, then uh, run the report. Close this. I don't need to tamper anything in the RDL file. Um, now, I will save this and preview the report. So that you can see uh, build and then preview the report so that you can see whatever we have created okay there it is already generated and uh, review and close so for each bank we have the entries that have been involved in that bank so in our whatever i want you to do is now add that total under each group so under each group, you add that particular total. So you'll have maybe Giro Bank and its total here and the other one. So it should match uh, this particular balance um, here. It should match the bank balance here. This total that will be here and under another uh, uh, subset here of column, 
will have that so it is showing us that giro bank has all these entries and then this bank has one entry this one two entries and then uh, wwb operating worldwide bank all these entries up to here so that is how we are able to group and we have seen we have retained the column headers in the next uh, the, the the feature that we had added in the previous and this is showing us we are in page two of two this is showing us we are in page one of one the user admin is repeated in every column it's a beautiful report and very descriptive with information that the details this is the bank this is the name this is the balance what are the details there was an order order number this on this date this was the amount and this is what has led to this particular total in this report so that's it for this video um about grouping in reports so that's um i think the next one we'll have uh, we'll look at the uh, word layout and excel layout um i will see you in the next video koheri and may god bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one